Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your June 2022 Committed Love Reading. Gemini, this is a general reading. It won't resonate with all of you. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Check your moon and rising signs if you need more guidance or clarity and see if there's any more information in those for you. This is a Committed Love Reading, so... Um, I'm going to pull three overall cards for the energy of the reading, and then this side will be you, this side will be your partner. If you have more than one partner, you will have to discern who this is for, or check their sun signs or their moon or rising signs and see what resonates with you. All right, or what works best for you, or check them all, however you see fit. If you're new to my channel, thank you for coming. Hello, welcome. My name is Rudy. I'm glad you found me. I'm glad we found each other. If you are returning, thank you for your trust, your support, your likes and subscribes, and all your energies. I appreciate all you guys. Look at the moon card coming out for you. Um, your dreams, what you want to manifest. Uh, inspiration, I believe. Let me see. Some The writing on these are sometimes hard to read. Earth Mother, beautiful. All right. We have the moon. We have inspiration. And we have Earth Mother. I have to say, first and foremost, um, a vibe of possible expanding in the family. Um, it could even be making something more permanent with the Earth Mother card with growth. Um, I see this as fertility, though. So there could be some type of pregnancy going on or expanding of the family that way. The Moon card tells me to, to do the 28 days. Give a cycle. And that's where I kind of am with that. Um, and inspiration is year round. Year round. And not only is it, you know, it keeps going. It's like you all inspire each other continuously. Continuously. Let's see. This says, nourish what brings you inspiration. Allow yourself experiences to receive sparks of ideas from the world around you. You know, I just see as as a inspiration to those around you. I see it as an inspiration to each other. But it's like a 24-7. I do see some type of something cyclical something coming around again with the moon card could be something you've wanted something something you dreamed about hoped about wanted um and then again the earth mother being very grounded and very comfortable where you're at there is fertility here so if there is possibility of expanding your family or it could be expansion of just your relationship in general this side's going to be you this side will be your partner all right gemini all right, Gemini committed. What do they need to know, please? Nope. Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Gemini there. Partner, Gemini partner, Gemini partner, please. All right. Your energy is a page of swords. New ideas, new thoughts coming in. Um, really, maybe making an effort to communicate in a different way. Getting your head out of the clouds, getting getting out of your own way making more of an effort with for your partner with your partner the seven of pentacles is decisions and choices it is <clears throat> putting in the work Kind of like, um, you know, this is like the person with the tree. Everything's growing out of putting in your thoughts and ideas. You know, maybe you want to buy a house. Maybe you need to buy a car. Maybe you want this. You want that. A new job. New this. New that. 
putting it out there for the universe to expand on it. You're putting your hopes, your dreams, your thoughts, what, you, what seeds you're planting out to the universe. Again, stability, structure, what you're seeking can be happily ever after. This is a marriage card. It can be a card of celebration. Could be celebrating something. Could be taking the relationship to the next level where you're thinking about it and really putting it out to the universe as far as what you want in a relationship. Where you want this relationship to go. Where you want this relationship to um, continue. How far do you want it to go? Where do you want it? Where do you want it to go? You know, with the page of wands, you might ask your partner to take something to the next level. You might this this person, this partner of yours might be the one to answer all your questions here. You know, they might have ticked all the boxes. They 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 balance you out. Almost said they complete you and I stopped from Jerry Maguire. You're already complete, but they add to you. Page of Swords, too. Thinking of something in a new way. Thinking of something in a different way. Um, new thoughts. Developing a new thought pattern, even. But there's celebration. There's joy here. Your partner has a Ten of Pentacles. This, to me, shows that your partner, which is, this is a gorgeous card. I wish it was bigger to see the detail. Your partner's in it. Your partner's in it for the long haul. Your partner's in it. They're in it. They're in it. They're in it. There's no getting your partner out of it. They are happy. They are content. They are fulfilled. This is a card of growth and stability. Having things not only for you and your partner, but for generations to come. Building a strong foundation for future generations. Again, remember the inspiration card? Look how close these are in color. Isn't that amazing? Look at these. That's kind of it. You're putting your roots down all over for... For generations to come. Look at the colors in this. Isn't that amazing? They're all the same. And they're not. This is two different decks. Putting the roots down for all generations to come. Showing them how it's done. Your partner's in it. They're in it. They're in it. They're in it. They're in it. High Priestess, an inner knowing, trusting their instincts. They could have been the one that maybe made the first move. They could have been the one that approached you. They could have been the one that knew. It's like when they knew, they knew. Look at the growth coming out of their head. The transformation. And knowing that they can create together, you all can create whatever you want to create. You're in charge of your lives. Your lives don't have to look like anybody else's. This is your life. Whatever it is you all can dream up here, you can create. Beautiful. Knowing you all have all the power you need within. 
your relationship. All right, the challenge for you and your partner for the month of June. Gemini's challenge for the month of June for their themselves and their partner. Gemini's challenge for the month of June. It's the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Your challenge is to not get so caught up in something that you get stuck or you get stagnant or you get, um, you feel, you feel trapped. Don't get stagnant. Don't get stuck. Don't get, don't get so wrapped up in either each other or your lives together this way that you get that you feel trapped. Taking back control of your thinking. Taking back control of your thoughts. Remember you had that swords here. Page of swords. New thoughts. New communication coming in. Making sure it's implemented. Keeping the... Keeping con uh, conversation. Keeping communication open between both of you. Keeping that open. Always an option. Keep it open. That's your challenge. Keep that communication going. Action you both need to take. Action. There's action that you all need to take for the month of June. The Nine of Pentacles. The action you need to take is maybe treat yourselves. I think you've both been working really hard. I think you might be saving your money for something special. And there's nothing wrong with that. But take a little bit out. Even if it's a weekend. Even if it's a night. And splurge. Do something special. Treat yourself to something special. Both of you. The action you need to do. Get away for a little bit. Even for a night. Even for a day. Play hooky. Do something. Um, but treat yourselves. Treat yourselves. Uh, do something spontaneous. Spontaneous is nice. Beautiful reading. It's a beautiful reading. I think too with this... Um, page of swords is being in this relationship could have opened you up opened your communication up you might be one to be very you know kind of go in and not want to talk about things your partner could be the one that opened you up to talking and talk about your feelings with that page of wands opening up that communication keeping it open Keeping it open. Something spontaneous. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money, but splurge a little bit. Seven of Pentacles. Beautiful. Watching your watching your seeds be grow watching your seeds grow. Watching what you've planted come into fruition. Again, the knowing of your partner, the trust of your partner, and making a life together not only for you but your children and your children's 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 children. Becoming very grounded and centered. Having growth and stability. That stable energy could be for the first time in a long time. Could be for the first time, right? right. Soul connection. Whoops. Just threw half the cards. All right. And heartbreak. Soul connection is just what it sounds like. 
feeling like you've known each other in a past life, feeling like, you know, you were drawn together. Again, the knowing of the high priestess. It's like knowing the knowing, right? Your partner knew. Knowing that there's a connection. Knowing that maybe a past life was together. Heartbreak is the worry that you can instill. Again, what you hold inside. All the what ifs. What if this doesn't work out? What if? What if? What if? What if my heart breaks again? What if I'm broken hearted again? What if I have to go through that again? The heartbreak card is worry over something that may or may not happen. The This reading right here is about as solid as a reading as I can read. This is a needed worry, a necessary worry. It makes you miss life. It makes you miss what is going on the here and now. You know, you need to not have to have constant reassurance in this relationship. This relationship is very stable and steady. And again, your partner's in it. They're in it. They're in it. They're in it. They're, in it. There's, they're not going anywhere. They're in it. Ten of Pentacles. Knowing whatever you all want to do, you can manifest together. Talk about your concerns. Talk about this. Talk about your worries. Don't hold it in. One more card, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Back to what you love. Back to what you love. Reevaluate your desires. Beautiful. I see that with this card here. This is what you're creating. You know, this could be going back to what you love. Look at the similar similarities in all the colors. And again, these are two different decks. That's crazy. All the colors. It's like all the chakra colors. Back to what you love. Getting back to your roots. Getting back to what grounds you. Getting back to what makes you happy. Getting back to what centers you. Following the path to happiness. Because yes, you do deserve it. Yes, you do deserve it. No matter what you were told in the past and past relationships. You deserve it. You deserve love, happiness, abundance, all the things. You can change what you are doing at any time. You do not have to feel stuck. Right there. You do not have to... Oh, I said... <laughs> go back to what you know and more importantly to what you love. Ask your angels to guide you with this process. You can do anything and ge you genuinely want to do. Magician. Take inventory. Look at where you got off track and find what you need to do to get back to you. You are meant to live a life of happiness, bliss, love, relationship, wealth are your fate. You can change your mind at any time and do something you have always longed to. When you do something you love, you reconnect to your bliss. With your partner, without your partner, if you love to mountain bike and they don't mountain bike, this person will not hold you back from what you truly love to do. What your path is truly, they will be there to support you 120%. Communicate. All right, guys. 
If you enjoyed this reading, I post every Saturday for the week ahead. Feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of those readings. Um, I really appreciate this. you all watching this. It's a beautiful reading. Um, stability. There's so much stability here. I'm very grateful that it's such a beautiful reading. A lot of them aren't, but you definitely have something special. And on you go for generations to come. Your legacy will live on. Beautiful reading. Gemini, be blessed. Take care of yourself. Let me know how this resonates, please. And until next time, bye for now.